Well, one of the most exciting things in my life was when I was introduced to the Navigators back in 1960, and I walked down the aisle of that Christian Service Band Center on April the 30th and asked Jesus into my heart, and I began to immediately establish friendships and relationships with all the young guys who were there. There were uh, John Legassi and, and Russ Korth, who I already mentioned, and uh, just uh, several other guys, uh, Bob Phobes, you know, Doug Boyle and Dick Hauser, and several other young guys. That, and we challenged one another down through the years. And so the my navigator heritage was tremendous. And in 1955, Dawson Trotman, who had founded the Navigators, died uh, in a an accident, a drowning accident in Shroon Lake, New York. And of course, Dawson was my great, 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 great grandfather in the Lord because he had discipled guys who discipled guys who discipled guys who eventually got down to uh, the Bill Michaels and the Russ Course and the uh, Lee Braces of my life who were able to take me and, and, uh, and, 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 and get me going and, and walking in the Lord. Uh, Joe Stone was one of the guys too that uh, was there to encourage me and help me and straighten out some stupid stuff that was going on in my life. But so anyway, I just had a desire. I asked the Lord uh, if I could see Dawson and talk to him. And he said, sure. And, and he he said, uh, he's right over there. And I looked over there, and there was thousands of people around Dawson. And he was up there talking to him and teaching him. And I said, well, how do I get going? He said, well, go on up there, the Lord said, and, and, and he'll, he'll talk to you. And I went up and I was standing on the back of the line. I kind of visualized it was like Disney World where you stand in a line, go round and round the, the chicane, and finally you get up there and you go on the ride, then you get off and you want to go down and you get on the line again. But it wasn't that way. I went up there and I stood in the in the back of the line, and right then I was face to face with Dawson talking with him. And it was such a delightful thing as I thanked him for all the uh, the Bible studies that he's that he'd written and and uh and the topical memory system, which had been a very part of my life, I memorized over 108 verses in that that first uh, series of, of of dealing. If you haven't got the topical memory system, then you need to get on the Navigator website or it only costs eighteen dollars. It will change your life. And I think it's because of of those verses I memorized that the Lord allowed me to to experience His time uh, time with Him in heaven. So anyway, as Dawson and I chatted, I, I told him I, I, know, I knew two of your kids. I knew Ruth, uh, who lived in, in Kaiser Slaughter. Uh, she was married to, uh, she was married to Ruth, or Ruth, Ruth Wortley was her, was her name. I can't think of her husband's name right now. Uh, and his son, Dawson, who was called Burke, is, uh, lives in Charlottesville. And we see them every year at a picnic that we go to at the Spillman's on Labor Day. And I told Madeline, his wife, about this a couple of years ago when it happened. And I haven't told Dawson this yet, so it'll be a shock to him when he sees this video. But uh, your dad is there, and he told me, he said, he said, tell him I'm waiting for him, and I can't wait for him to get here. So that was that was really neat. And I turned around, and I looked over in a, in a big field, and there was, a, there was another guy over there. And there must have been, I don't know. Looked like a half a million people surrounding this guy, and I said, "I said, Lord, who is that?" He said, "Well, that's Bill Johnson." I said, "Who?" He said, "Bill Johnson. Yeah, he's one of the 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 greatest producers of, of the kingdom up here. He was a missionary down in Ecuador, and he labored for many years and led a few folks to Christ, and then he led a few to Christ, and it just kept going and blossomed and blossomed and blossomed." And I remembered the verses in the Bible that talked about the the greatest and and the and who's the least. And here was a man who was not well known, and uh, I didn't, had never heard of him before. And I'm sure a lot of other people had never heard of him. But he had labored for the Lord, and God had produced a great fruit and a great great harvest uh, through this man. And uh, he was one of the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So that was another neat thing.